The work was produced on the Isle of Thanet, which is located in the furthest southeast corner of uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, and it's my, it's where I live, it's where I've always lived. Band Apart consists of two interrelated works, uh, landscape with fragmented forms and landscape with unified forms. An examination of place and space, um, of the local and the parochial, and that having a, a meaning and a value. The two landscapes uh, were created through walking and walking at the Isle, the Isle of Thanet, uh, which is where I'm located, it's where I live and where I work. But when I produced this work, going back now over five years when I began it, I felt very dislocated. So I began to walk the Isle. I walked its complete boundary, uh, which for me, I tend to go off track a little bit and lose my way, so it's somewhat circuitous, came in just over 40 miles. And whilst I was walking, I would spot these little red rubber bands uh, on the pavement. And of course, these ru rubber bands had been dropped by the postmen and postwomen on their rounds. And as I walked, I was focusing not on the Grand Vista, which are few and far between where I, I live, but on the absolute local, the immediate, uh, where my foot was falling. And so these little red bands became like tiny red flecks, crimson flecks that uh, would catch the eye. So I began to photograph them. Uh, and I photographed them in situ, so where I found them, using this very primitive mobile telephone, which had no sense of focus, so some of them are, are somewhat soft. But nevertheless, the individual images that I collected were enough to give me texture and surface around each band. So I'd photograph each of these images, and then I had the messy job, the rather grotty job, of them picking up each band and keeping it. And I wasn't quite sure what I was keeping it for. But once I got to a thousand images, I stopped the project. I felt that that's enough's enough. I'd walked the bounds. Strangely, prosaic whilst the individual images are, the process made me feel increasingly rooted to my own place and space, probably for the first time in my life. These images obviously were digital because they'd been taken with a mobile telephone. Each image was put into a computer program, which then randomly placed each image into this grid structure, this montage. So we ended up with a large montage, which viewed at different places offers you a different, for want of a better word, landscape. Close up, you see each individual band. You can see the grid structure between each individual image. But as one moves further and further away from the image, uh, the, the brain begins to formulate its own form and shape and um, structure, and a landscape begins to emerge from this. A different image begins to emerge because the bands are no longer visible as we move further and further away from the image in, in the gallery setting. The individual bands themselves I'd been collating over the two-year period and I was also aware that I wasn't the only one collecting these bands. And I'd become aware, especially when I was walking through um, quite built up housing estates, that uh, young kids playing out on the street would also be collecting them. And they would be doing either one of two things with them. They'd be decorating their little silver scooters, which uh, were very fashionable at the time, and most of the kids had these. So they'd be dropping the bands over the, the coarse stem of the scooter, so they would collect them in that way. Um, or they'll be making these band balls, so a little rubber band ball, which they would use to throw, play catch with, or, or, or lob at one another in various forms. And I didn't have a scooter, and so I decided to make this band ball. So it's quite playful, and it was a, a, a way that I was able to articulate how, how I was responding. And for me, the landscape was becoming uh, far from fractured, but increasingly unified. At the centre of this band ball is a, a little pod, and within the pod 
is a relic of Thanet, which I selected. It's a secret. It's a, a secret relic only known to me. I put it into the pod and then I bound that pod with each of the bands that I had been collecting over that two-year period. It was then cast in resin. So neither the ball, the unified form, nor the secret relic is accessible. It's, it's there, it's located, it's hopefully articulating a sense of the unified, but also the playful. It was uh, an enjoyable and um, almost childlike, not childish, but a childlike experience to, to undertake these walks and to undertake this collecting and then to undertake this production. So it, it holds together. <laughs>